Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard playing as Ming. Will be the future Yuan, as long as everything goes right. And we're already getting ourselves into position to switch over to being Shan. And then we're going to culturally convert. Ooh, Bengal. Okay. Well then, let's... Oh. We want to... I'm going to demand some stuff from him. Target of a coalition. They're disloyal. Yeah, we're just going to let them die. Let's cancel that tributary. Lost some meritocracy, sadly. And our relations with Ayatai are starting to suffer. That's not good. Send them some cash. We'd get some mandate. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we are. Uh, coalition against them fell apart. Wow, such rebel problems. Okay, when does this truce expire? Okay, our truce did expire. Let's see if we could threaten war over Ava. I want to fight for it. No. Okay, Pegu. Yeah, it's just Pegu, though. There's no super rush to get this done. You know what? Let's leave these guys there for a few more months. We don't even have everything cored. I think we want to do here. So as a state, increase the autonomy to 75, unstated. So now the autonomy is still 75 and we don't need to worry about any rebels there. I'll just tick down. Do have to worry about rebels up here, but yeah, we've gotten rid of a lot of the factions. Let's 
So now we just basically have these guys. Let's increase the autonomy there. Okay, Paduna. It's under enemy occupation, rebel occupation. And we'll just consolidate down these troops after the battle. Okay, with these guys, since we're paying them, we might as well be getting some drilling out of it. I think that freed up guy there. Yeah. Suffering a little bit of. Uh, let's uh, stop paying that as long as we. Damn you. Okay, let's ask Delhi if they'd break their alliance with Bengal. No. I bet if we attacked him, Delhi wouldn't try to protect them. Fish was getting there. Missionary strength is so worthless to us as a Confucian. Okay, now we can just move these guys back down to Beijing and have them drilling there. Okay, we reduce the amount of money that we're hemorrhaging by a little bit. Yeah, let's get the cash. Okay, we do want to make Chahar a larger percentage. But we can do that through... Stating up this stuff. One of your Chalhar at you? No. Okay. Merch or er, clergy wants a little bit more land, so let's give them that, and they should be happy. Okay, Pegu, Pegu will almost certainly come in to help them out. We just need that one province, so. We don't need a total victory over them. And then Sang is their overlord, still come in to protect them as well. I 
So we'll wait for the first of the next month. Yeah, they were drilling their troops, so they don't have high morale. That's good. Speaking of that, we are going to drill these troops up here. Didn't even realize that they had the fort here that they weren't paying. Otherwise, would have moved on that first. I think this is going to be a very short war. And we definitely should start getting some free war taxes. Because that's it's just like seven ducats a month. This guy's just going to get himself caught. So we'll pull him back and set him down here to give us some more spy power. Yeah. Care about them running around doing that. Costs us a little bit of mandate. We're already out of manpower. Yeah, so I'm not I'm really not looking forward to a war with Bengal and Ayutthaya. Come on, just crack those walls and we can take the fort. And they just spread out. Not looking forward to that devastation bringing down our mandate. Take the prestige because I want to get rid of aggressive expansion and I don't want to deal with corruption because our economy is in bad enough shape as it is. Okay, Fientian. Wow. We have their two forts, and they're still at high enthusiasm. Partially because we don't have the war goal yet. Let's just carpet siege over here. Oh, hurry it up. Come on. It's taken two forts on the time that that's it's taken us to force the 180 guys that were there to surrender. Okay, there we are. So that province should be all we need. Yeah, 
Eva Bagan Kale. Yeah. For some adopt our religion, but that's not gonna be super helpful to us. Let's instead take his money. And we'll see if we can get any more. Wow. That's from devastation. Largely devastation, yeah. Okay, so we can get Pegu as tributary again. And they instantly became a tributary of Lansang. Yeah, this could be a problem. Go for the guys that are closest to us and see if we can improve their opinion enough to get them to become our tributaries. So that civil war could be a, a major issue. And we don't need much mandate. If we get any events that give us mandate, we'll be okay. Okay, or Rissa. But they're in a war. Okay, can I influence you, Manila? Would that be enough? Gain 10 mandate, yep. Okay, so, whew, dodge that bullet. Okay, now we need a claim here. Start building that spy network back up, and we want as many trips as we can get in the south. If we're going to be over less and less, the more we keep consolidating this down. Of course, the more we do that, the more rebellious our subjects are going to get, but that's okay. So we could get yearly meritocracy increase, but I think we're just going to keep our mandate high. We don't want any problems right now from having low a mandate.
I wish I could order them to break their alliance. But they just wouldn't listen. Even if we could ask them to. Telly might. So I'm going to wait till we hit Military Tech 5. Do we have a truce with you still? We do. Another couple months. Five thousand in debt. Fortunately, we're Ming. We'll get out of that. And we get another accept culture, that's always nice. Went to do Chahar anyway. I'll make our life easier. Okay. So if we declare war, Delhi and Ayutthaya would come in. We could just wait till is in some other war. Waiting on our tech anyway, so let's improve relations. Send those guys forward. I definitely want to increase our stability again, because it gives us a little bit of mandate. Apply limit. Let's put limit's 11. Yeah, I guess we'll send one of those guys back. Okay, and we want that offensive power. Let's see if we can influence them to improve relations enough to get them not to join the war. It's probably going to take them being in another war not to join. Ten reasons, yeah. So how likely are you to get in a war? You're an administrator... And you have nothing marked as vital interests. You don't seem to have any They do have claims. Oh, they've got stuff marked as being a vital interest. I guess we can give it a few months. Now I just need two more provinces, and this one to finish coring. Then we'll need to develop up here. Or 
or we can unstate some of this stuff. Okay. Come on, Aitaya. Get yourself into a war. We can win it, even if they don't. I think we have enough troops. It'll just be costlier. I guess the ideal thing is you could just take over all this stuff first. Take over all this stuff first. Then unstate everything and switch at the end. That's probably not the ideal way to go about this achievement. Even if you're doing the Ming route. Still no one wants to become my tributary. Okay, so we can get a new decrease. So I'm going to increase our infantry combat ability. So we're five military tech, they hit five, they hit five, yes, we lost our advantage. They're not paying for their, their forts. They're paying for that one, but not that one. Yeah, I think we can go for it. Because I don't see them even moving to one of their borders. To attack anyone. Make them happier. Call for a diet, make them... Stop being upset with us. Do the same thing there. Okay, I'm going to declare it. I only need to worry about really capturing a fort in these two provinces, and I think we'll be okay. Now well, we might need to capture both of these forts. But Ayutai will probably move up here and try sieging out our stuff. Okay, we have the Wargle. Yeah, the uh, time to get 360 guys there. Hopefully things will work out better for us last time in terms of the uh, siege racing. There we are. Okay, he's probably going for the Wargle. Don't have any manpower, but we could always trade in 
I think we should probably do this right away. Trade in some of our professionalism. Oh, I think I'll leave this guy there. Well, yeah, we'll head him over there. I do want to know how much more score we need. Minus 29 reasons, so if we can capture another fort. are moving in the right direction. Okay. Don't want to have to move these guys all the way around. Brace for impact. And just hope for lucky rolls. Hopefully I won't be able to get the there's 5k there before we can win the battle. Hey, at least we won. Go for the stability. It's much more useful to us. Yeah, manpower is going to be a problem. Let's get these troops back behind the safety of the walls. We've got the walls breached here and a good chance of capturing their capital. Yeah, let's get some professionalism. And we took their capital. So we can take those two provinces and some cash. Although I do want to break them up with Ayutthaya. Yeah, we'll hold out. We got the war goal. We're about to capture this fort. Okay, hemorrhaging a lot less money because we're basically at our our force limit now. And we're still paying for really expensive advisors. Okay. Let me just double check, make sure we're not going to do anything dumb here again. Okay, so we need Kale and Pagan. I'm going to be taking those. We need to be at peace. Then we can shift over. Kale, Pagan. Breaking them up, taking their money. Yeah.
Okay, let's just send them some cash. Let's actually bring down that war exhaustion first. So this is what's left of our army. But once we form Shan and then culture shift, we can start getting our country functioning again. Actually, it's probably best to keep them in three chunks. And for the sake of our economy, I am going to mothball our forts now. Now we're no longer over our force summit. So I'm making just a little bit of meritocracy, and once we harmonize our religion, uh, a lot of our problems will go away in that regard. Oh, so they stopped becoming our tributary. It was unfortunate. We could always ally them. Okay, let's keep an eye on our time. We're at 37 minutes, so I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching.